Okay, so we're going to talk about how to count in binary and in decimal. Now you probably ought to be familiar with how to count in decimal. So I'll start out with counting in binary and also look at counting in decimal. We'll also look at um, counting in other bases as well. Okay, so let's take a look at that. <coughs> counting in binary. Alright, so we start out, um, actually before we get to binary, let's look at decimal first, because this is what we're familiar with. So if I were to count in decimal, right, we have 10 possibilities. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, so those are 10 possibilities. <coughs> and you might want to notice this. There are 10 possibilities here. 0 is one of them, right? Um, that's why the highest uh, value here is 9. But there are 10 possible numbers here in decimal. And so, by the way, just as I might have mentioned before, deci means 10 in Latin. So that's just 10. Likewise, by means 10. Or sorry, it means 2 in Latin. Okay. Like you have bifocal lenses, that means you have two. Uh, Focal points in your lens, all right? Um, <coughs> okay. Anyway. Okay. So, counting in decimal is pretty straightforward because um, we have we're familiar with it. But counting in binary is not necessarily that much harder. It's actually easier. We have fewer options. We only have two options. So, and those are zero and one, as you might already know. So, these are two possibilities. Okay. Now, if I want to count in decimal, I keep going back and forth here, but um, if I want to say, okay, well, I went from 0 through 9, right? These are all the possibilities that of where we have one digit, right? So we have one digit here. Now, if I have um, two digits, suppose I have two digits, right? Suppose I have two digits. I have how many possibilities? Hmm? I have 100 possibilities if I have two digits, right? And the way we know this is, well, um, <coughs> our s uh, second digit, right, uh, will be, or sorry, our first digit is going to be, um, uh, if we were starting out, originally this would be all pre-pinned with zeros, but we don't really need to worry about that. Um, I should probably say one to two digits. Um, anyway, so, because we don't, in, normally when we count in decimal, we, uh, we will say the first ten uh numbers, we're not going to pre-pin with zero. We don't usually say zero, 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 one, zero, two. Uh, it's not common to say that. Um, but uh, in, in binary, that actually is rather common to say it that way. But in any event, um, what I'm going to, to look at really quick is, okay, well, all right, we're going to count in decimal, so suppose we do that. So we would just say, like, so we start at 0 through 9, now we're going to say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, okay? Now if I want to keep counting, I'll just say, well, now I have 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and you notice what I'm doing here. I'm just replacing all these values, I'm replacing this, uh, this digit here with all possible, uh, all 10 possible uh, digits, so we basically cycle through all possible digits. Okay? And if we keep going, if we have, uh, say, three digits, well, I mean, <coughs> we'll do the exact same thing. Well, it's no different in binary, right? So we have two possibilities. Uh, we have just over here, in this case, we'll have just, you know, uh, one digit, I'm sorry, one, uh, I should say one bit. So we have one binary digit or bit, right? But suppose I want to start counting more, right? So if I have zero, 1, 
Now, if I want to, so that's, you know, corresponds to zero and one respectively in, in, in decimal. So if I want to say start comparing to two, well, I'm going to do the exact same thing I did before, but, I mean, uh, we might prefit this with zero here, and uh, I'm going to keep going here, so let's say three in decimal. So this is our, bin our, our binary over here, and our decimal over here. Okay, so over here, um, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to copy these two guys over here. So I'm going to say 0, 1. Um, so these are the same. But I'm going to change this uh, this bit over here. I'm going to say 1, 1. Okay? All right, but now I have all four possibilities. Uh, there are four possible um, <coughs> numbers uh, between 0 and 3. Well, as you can see, these are just four, right? Um, and I can keep I can keep going. I can I can take this pattern right and just keep repeating it. So, and let's just do that. So I can just say okay, well I have zero 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 zero. Now if I copy this down, I can say one two three four. So I have four ones. And I'll say zero zero one one zero one zero one. Okay. By the way, I did it this way for a reason. Normally, if you were to write this out, you might be tempted to just write it out. You know zero 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 one. 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, etc. I like to write it out this way. I like to write it out uh, as <coughs> uh, however many uh, zeros there are. Like in this case, we have four zeros and then four ones. And then after that, so that's how we know we have all our possibilities, right? In the second uh, spot, so by the way, is our, our, our ones place. This is our twos. And this is our fours spot. Okay. Um, you notice I have, right? Um, in our ones place, we keep alternating between zero and one. In our twos place, we alternate between zero and one, but we uh, repeat it uh, twice. So we have zero, zero, and then one, one. Zero, zero, one, one. That's the pattern here. And over in this column, we have uh, uh, four zeros, four ones. And if I keep going out, if I keep, uh, as I uh, expand out to more bits, <coughs> I'm going to just. Uh, double how many times I repeat uh, each bit. So, counting a binary is rather straightforward. Um, there's not much to it, um, just as there's not much to counting a decimal. Um, but let's just keep going, uh, as we should do. Um, so, let's take a look at counting in other bases really quick. So, let's look at, let's go down a bit. So, let's go back looking at. Uh, counting in let's see, look at counting in uh, hex a decimal C -I -M -A -L, as well as counting in octal. Okay, the principles are the same of how we go about doing things. Nothing too tricky, um, but the key thing in hexadecimals we have. So let's look at what this means in Latin. So hex, of course, means six. So hexagon, for example. So if you have a nice little hexagon, like that guy over there, that's got six sides, right? So that's hex, um, and of course, deci as before. That's you know ten. So hexadecimal is actually base sixteen. So that's base sixteen. Alright, and octal, so oct, by the way, is also Latin. This is eight. So, for example, um, octopus shares that root, as well as uh, October, incidentally. So, October, um, just historical note. Um, now, as you know, October is not the eighth month of the year, but um, it used to be. Prior to uh, Julius Caesar and prior to Augustus Caesar, who named July and August after themselves, October was the eighth month of the year back in the day, but um, no longer now it's the tenth month because of those Caesars. Uh, in any event, uh, that's kind of beside the point. Um, when we count in hexadecimal, we're going to count from, as before, we have zero through nine, so uh, these guys over here, but we also have to have six more. Uh, digits, so we just invent some. So we have A, B, C, D, E, and finally F. So that's all 16 
this is 10, this is the extra 6 that we get, all right, this is the extra 6, so this is 16 uh, possible uh, digits, and over in octal land we just have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, and 7, right, because remember, 0 is one of the possibilities, so, you know, uh, you might think, oh, well, this is 8, no, 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 we have 0 through 7, just like in base 10, we have 0 through 9. Okay, so, but the basic idea behind counting is the same as before. So, um, if we wanted to say count to some higher uh, value in hexadecimal, we'll just pre pin this with some one of these values. Um, so, if I want to say count to the next highest value, I say 1, 0, oh, this would be, by the way, um, in decimal, right, this is 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, right? And so if I were to then, okay, if I were to then uh, prepin this with a 1, this would now be, instead of 0, this would be um, 16. So this is 16, by the way. In hex is 10, 11 1, 1 is 17, etc. So anyway, um, this is how we count in hexadecimal. We just replace these guys over here with their new values, um, and you can just replace these with twos, etc. So just keep doing that, and that's essentially how you count in hexadecimal. Um, no surprise there. Um, it's the same essentially as binary. Only we have now we have six extra digits. Um, okay. um, and by the way, this over here, let's see, this two F is actually going to be fifteen. This guy over here, F plus, sorry, two F. I should say. Um, Let's see. So this is it a two O. That looks like a four, doesn't it? Let me erase that really quick. Um, do, 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 do. So two zero in hex, I should say, is going to be instead of sixteen, it's going to be thirty-two, right? That's thirty-two. Oops, oh, I, I messed that up. Okay. Um, <laughs> don't know how. Okay, that's thirty-two. All right. Um, and likewise, this would be 33, and all the way down over here, so, um, yeah, there you go. <coughs> and so, same thing with octal, if we were to say, you know, count an octal, um, we could uh, go from 7 to then, so 1, 0 in octal is not 10, right? And by the way, don't read this as 10, um, because we only reserve 10 or uh, 100 or 1,000, that's... These are all; those are all decimal terms. So here we would say 10, and that's uh, in octal. That's um, eight, as it turns out. So, so there you go. Uh, so this is the decimal. This decimal. And so uh, octal uh, 10 is eight in decimal. So there you go. Uh, and then uh, let's say 17. That would be. Um, it should be 15, I would think. Yeah. So just double checking. So. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, there you go. Great. So, there you have it. That's counting in hexadecimal, octal, decimal, and binary. Um, you probably want to focus on binary in this class, um, as well as, of course, um, hex. Octal, not so much. Uh, decimal, you already know how to do that. Uh, and if you don't know how to count in decimal, then, um, yeah, I don't think you're qualified for this class. Um, but, or, or really college, really, but um, that's sort of a side issue. Okay, anyway, um, well, um, let's move on to the next lesson.